how to use Sage Accounting for Beginners, how to navigate, how to basically manage your Sage Accounting platform. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll be talking about Sage Accounting and how to get started using it if you are just getting started with Sage, basically. If you have no idea what Sage is, Sage is a platform that offers plenty of products here, as you can see, uh, and solutions for multitude of tools that are going to help you with your business, uh, whether it's going to be accounting or other stuff that could play a huge role to uh, make your business management a lot easier. So for accounting, you would want to obviously do all the financial needs for your business, like creating invoices and so much more um, for your business. So let's actually go ahead and get started about uh, how to sign up for Sage Accounting. So basically, you will need to go ahead uh, and go to Google actually, and just type in Sage Accounting sign up, because I just could not find the sign up button in this page. Now at the bottom, not at the top. So instead, you will need to just go ahead to Google type in Sage Accounting sign up, and you should be directed to this link here. Through this link, you'll be able to just sign up, you will need to enter some information about your company and yourself, like company name, uh, product type, first name, and so much more. So just feel free to fill all of those in. And uh, I will see you when I am done with my part of the signing up process. Okay, so I have just finished signing up. Now it did take me a lot of time because for some reason, the OTP for the phone number was not sending. So how I buy best that it could be useful to you as well. If it does not send you a code for your phone number, just wait out the time that they give you to wait. If it doesn't send you anything, they'll go to be uh, allowing you to confirm using email, which I just did just wait out to the number period and then it should be good. Anyway, so now we're just going to click on remind me later for that. And now we have our company settings here are going to be the setup for your company settings. This is going to be for uh, your sake and making it more personalized for you. Just click on next uh, and you will need to fill in your details for your company. So you will need to fill in your details for company details, branding and financial details, which you will need to go through one by one. Uh, which again will give you the best experience with Sage if you do that. Now, obviously, I don't want to waste too much time here. Uh, and I don't really have, you know, this is not my real name, obviously, or the company name. And obviously, I don't really have anything about this company. So I'm just going to skip ahead. But for you, if you're an actual legit uh, person who is signing up, you would want to fill in these details. <clears throat> so anyways, Let's talk about the actual dashboard and the menu of Sage and what we have here and some of the tools that they provide for you for the accounting product. Basically, if we just go to the home page, we will have the dashboard, customer dashboard, supplier dashboard, and more stuff here. We, want, we would want to go to the dashboard the first thing because in the dashboard, they will tell us about um, a summary of exactly what's been happening uh, in our Sage account when it comes to to-do list uh, and other stuff as well, uh, which I will show you in a sec. Just let me finish this up real quick. I don't really need to do this, but apparently I'm required to go back and set things up, but I can just go ahead uh, and go back to the home page now when this is loaded. Just going to take me a second, hopefully. There you go. Go back to the dashboard. Okay. So basically, we have in the dashboard, we have the to-do list. We have our banking dashboard. We have the top customers by sale and also the sales history. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is gone. But here we have the to-do list, which is going to be a list of things for you to do that are assigned to yourself. Here you can also create quotes for customers, adding invoices, and you also have the workspace, which we will talk about in a sec. In the banking set, uh, system or uh, section, sorry, you'll be able to add your bank account and all of those things. Again, we can also do them from here. Top customers by sale, self-explanatory, and sales history is also self-explanatory, but obviously this is going to be changed over time. Now we have the dashboard options here where we can just add more stuff as well. We can click on add widget 
and we can actually remove or add whatever we want in the dashboard this way we can actually change things to our liking and exactly what we want to see for example we want to see the top selling items and we want to also see something like purchase history for example and i want to remove the top customers by sale and i want to add the quotes for example after you're done you can just click on save and it should be uh if we click on reset actually don't click on anything you're just going to pop up uh, in a sec and you can actually go ahead and see how it's going to look like and you can move them and just change where they are located if you want so we have the to-do list banking sales history top selling items purchase history and also we have the quotes now so basically customize the dashboard to your liking now we can move on to the workspace in the workspace is basically the tools that you are allowed to use and create things from so we can just go to the workspace and i'll show you exactly what i mean basically you will have a bunch of tools if it just loads in uh, like creating quotes invoices and everything as well and also you can download the app just feel free to do so here okay so uh let me just skip this there you go so we have the dashboard we have uh just going to take us back but we have the create a quote we have create an invoice customer receipts and more stuff so this is basically a workspace so if you want to create something you can just go to the workspace and you have all of these options to choose from for example if you want to create a quote click on it uh, and this is going to take you to another page where we'll be able to create a quote as you can see here obviously you will need to fill in all of this information to get uh to be able to create your quote your details and everything here so after you're done you can just click on save and now we can just go back to the dashboard and see them it's as simple as that so now let's just talk about the actual uh the customers tab here you can add customers in here you can just click on add a customer and you'll be able to add your customers in here not only that but you will be able to also create lists of customers so if you want to you could say divide the types of customers that you have maybe it's leads and um, actual customers that you have you can create lists for them to be able to separate them basically so here you can have a new customer just add all the details that you need about them and you can see all the types of details you can actually add it's quite a lot of details uh, once you're done click on save and you should be good to go as as well so the same basically it's going to be the same thing here you have the lists you have the transactions reports and all of those things that are related to customers suppliers are going to be exactly the same thing you'll be able to add supplier by just clicking on here and you'll be able to add your suppliers here you can also have the lists of suppliers transactions reports and special uh, like adjusting opening balances and all of those things so obviously it's going to be pretty much exactly like the customers is just going to be for suppliers items basically are going to be the things that you're working with so if you want to add an item you can just feel free to do this as well now for the banking section here are going to be some of the interesting stuff where you'll be able to add a bank account or a credit card this way you'll be able to have more reports on your expenses and so much stuff for your banking um, details so you can just again feel free to add a bank or credit card by going to the banking section uh, section here now same goes for accounts and accounts uh accountants area and so more stuff here for reports here you'll be able to see the reports of all of these options here you can see the reports for um your customers your suppliers and so much stuff like your banks and all of those things so this is pretty much all you need to know on how to get started using sage you'll be able to just sign up go ahead create whatever you want for example it's a customer you will just go to add the customer and you'll be able to add that same goes for the banking or accounts same goes for company here you'll be able to manage your company uh, and have more reports on them you can import and export that as well uh administration you have more stuff like um managing the users that you have working with you and you'll be able to do more options for admins like changing passwords and so much stuff 
and this is pretty much it and then after you're done you can always just head back to the dashboard customize it to your liking and you can view everything that we have just created in the dashboard it should be ready to go so this is all i have for you today for sage i hope you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching